guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am the most special guest in the oh, world. I'm, I'm so, so excited, excited to be here. I feel so honored, guys. Guys, her place is insane. You're so sweet. So Patrick's gonna do my makeup today. Really super, special. super bronzy, golden yes. goddess. I mean, your skin is so good. So you're like, very sweet. It's so crazy. Thank you. Your skin is amazing so as well. So it's a little breakout. So just don't look. Me too. <laughs> so we're gonna be glamming today. We're just gonna be chit chatting. I want to get to know Patrick better, and I'm sure you guys do as well. He's a celebrity makeup artist. He's touched some of the most beautiful faces in the world. And now he has to touch mine. I'm just kidding. Are you kidding? Your skin is insane. <laughs> so sweet. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to be doing some makeup and we're going to be playing with some of Patrick's new makeup. Check it out. I'll have everything linked in the description box right down below along with Patrick's social. So be sure and follow him. The makeup he does will seriously blow your mind. I cannot wait to get my face Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I feel like whenever I do like a beauty, like so, someone else like in like the beauty world, I get so, so, so no! nervous. It's like so oh much pressure. Um, so I went ahead and I prepped Laura's skin already. So we just used a little bit of Le Mer soft cream, some eye cream, and some lip balm. For any makeup artists, these kits are... Okay. What is this brand? Uh, uh, Where'd know. you get this? I got these on, on I, I, I got these on Amazon. They're actually so good. They're like $35. Oh my gosh. I just like this switched. This is so nice. Yeah, you can see I love um, Desi, make, Makeup by Mario, Huda. Whenever I used to travel, I just would travel with these like Makeup Forever um, plastic containers and like they they would move around and like my, my foundations would break thank god like nothing has broken so far but so i'm gonna start off by priming your eyelids i'm using p louise um eyeshadow base it's so 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 it's so good i always like to do the eyes before the skin um honestly like with like with, with, with whatever look that i do even even if it's like a super natural look i tend to do the eyes before because i'm not that um I feel, like I'm, I'm, I feel like my eyeshadow work is messy, so I need to be able to clean up. Um, I'm not that artist that can like... Wait, do you do your eyes first or do you do... If I'm doing a heavier look or I'm gonna be like packing on eyeshadow, I'll always do my eyeshadow first. But if mm -hmm. I'm doing like that one neutral shade across my eyelid, I'm like, girl, whatever, I'll just put my foundation on, you know? When you, when you like do your makeup for events, do you take longer or do you, or just like whatever? You know what, if I go to an event, I don't know what it is. I always do a neutral look. Like I always do like one eyeshadow across my eyelid. I don't know why one either. Like yeah, I'll literally put like a neutral mauve like all over my eyelid and like a pretty fluttery lash. Because I feel like in pictures sometimes, you know, like with iPhones, like if you're wearing like darker eyeshadow or like some reds or like crazy colors, I feel like I don't know, it sometimes it makes me look crazy unless mm. I can edit it myself or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I put just like a little bit on to the eyes and I, I'm using this little beauty sponge. This is called Biddy. It's so soft. I just got it in Korea. I think it's like $2. But isn't it so soft? Oh my god, I'm obsessed by the beauty blender. It's even softer. It's like, yes. oh my god, I it looks like a little dumpling. I know. I got. I, I just it. got this in Korea and it's so cute. I, I'm, I'm so sad I'm not going to be able to... Get more. So now I'm gonna put on a little bit of foundation. So my favorite color um, foundation that I use, like honestly, only like I have like five, five shades like in my kit, and I have a really dark one, like a really light, and like the in between. I always like mix and match. I think as a makeup artist, like your kit can get really heavy, so it's always just really like um, amazing if you can mix and match. And so you're you're literally making shades. So you're like carrying yeah. a few of the lighters, a few of the darkers, and you're literally making your own shades instead of carrying 30 shades of foundation. Yeah, honestly, who wants to carry so much stuff? But I'm using, so this is the Mare Soft Blue Foundation. Um, it's so lightweight and creamy on the skin. In my opinion, I think it just photographs true to color, and that's Ooh, I what I really that. want. I feel like when when your client is, well, when, when my client is like getting paparazzi and there's like all these flashing lights and like you can't really control the, 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 the lighting. It's super important to have a foundation that can really photograph true to color because when there's like 10 flashes going on, you never know like how the lighting can look. So I'm gonna go this, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put this foundation just right onto the eyelids. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want the eyes to really just like marry into like the rest of the face. Once I'm like we... writing down notes over here, like, can you put foundation over I love, that? I love, I love that there's this like little monitor here. Right? I can like see everything. Oh yeah, you can see everything. How long, how long have you been like doing like makeup? I used to, well YouTube March will be seven years. And then as far as just makeup in general on other people, I used to do bridal makeup some in, when I lived Wait, in Alabama. Did you? 
yeah. So I'm using, so this is the Skin Iceland Under Eye Patches. I'm really obsessed with eyeshadow that goes like straight out right now. So I, I just came back from Asia and I'm, obviously I'm Asian, but now I feel like I'm full Asian. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> the I'm a, full experience. I'm obsessed with K-pop. I'm like, oh, so are you? Oh, have you black pink? Um, Blackpink, but also I saw them at Coachella and they changed my life. I know they were so good. They're what good. What about what about B What about BTS? What yeah, they're amazing. Tell me, tell me. I don't know. I cannot. Oh, I cannot she doesn't tell you. Love them. I don't know why I know them. Why? Manny is obsessed, and he's the one at Coachella that took me to see Blackpink. He's like, I'm like, oh, I'm really? like I don't know who they are. He's like, Yeah, you guys see them. But see, I couldn't even name all the Blackpink songs. But Wait, I, I just became a super fan of BTS two weeks ago. <gasps> I was working Jingle Ball, and and um, <laughs> BTS came out first. You were dying. I have never. Never heard a crowd scream so loud. No. There was like so many other artists there, but people were <laughs> screaming. And I was backstage, and I was like, I saw, I saw them, I saw them walk by, and I was like, with the flash on. I didn't do it, but, but but I wanted to. They're so internationally famous. I know. I, um, Jimin's my favorite. So I put a little bit of powder um, to set the eyelid. So I'm gonna be using Nudie Patootie. He's so sweet. I'm Thank so excited. So the reason why I'm using this is because I love monochromatic makeup and with my new with my new collection it's all about monochromatic looks. So um, it's honestly the perfect palette because I came out with all like really like blush tone nudes and blush tone nudes. Oh my god. I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna only use like two colors. I really love I mean maybe three. I really love this this family. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off with streaking. The reason why I put on these these eye gels too is because one, they do a really great job at depuffing, but they also do a great job at catching my fallout. <laughs> When's the first time you've ever did makeup? Like I'm talking very first. Was it when you were little or were you a little bit older? I was definitely older. I started when I was 20, um, 22. So I started working at Mac when I'm 28 now. What made you want to go for like Mac? What made you want to be like, I want to do this? So I used to, I used to have a nail salon in, in Arizona. So I love yeah, I used to have a I used to have a nail salon in Arizona. Um, I did that for three years, and then we did really well, and then we did really bad. So we ended up having to close, and then that's when my roommate at the time she was a makeup artist at Mac, and I I, I needed a job, and I was always like interested in yeah, beauty, but right. I don't think I was ever like confident enough to. I was like, always too scared to work at Mac. That's why I freelanced um, and did bridal makeup. I didn't even apply for the job because I was way too terrified. So that was really brave of you. No, like I, I was always like nervous because like once my like my salon failed, I was all, like, I didn't want to disappoint my my parents again. Oh my god, like you just like failed us. And so I like I like dropped out of high school. I didn't I didn't um, go go to college. And my sister like got really good grades in high school and oh, she like went to college and like did, like, all, did all that and like what like what are you doing with your life and then I told them I wanted to do a nail salon and then um they helped me they helped me with that and then since that didn't do well like then I came out I was gay and then they're like oh god he's gay and then I said okay I want to be a makeup artist oh god he wants to be a makeup artist like the too. most your yeah, family's so, like oh so I just like didn't ever I, I, I was I already, I already like disappointed them so much and then when I started doing it I became obsessed with it so wow I think when like you, you find found your true passion in life yeah it's it's honestly like there's not that many jobs out there that that I feel like people can say that every single job that I do like I know that we're constantly, I mean like all of us, like we're constantly traveling a lot. We're all, we're all like running around the world and, and like, and working, but like these are jobs that I want to be on and I want to like, I'm fine not sleeping around. I'm, I'm fine like flying and going. Cause you're doing what you love. Yeah, cause cause I, I want this job. Yeah, cause I know that there's so many other people. It's not work to you. Yeah, there's so many other people out there that, that like I should be lucky, like that like want this position. So like, I try to never like the complain. The attitude and gratitude. Just be grateful. Honestly. Yeah, I just came out with this brush too, and I feel like it's the perfect so like crease, like crease split brush. I'm just using this to kind of blend out the out the outer end, like the the the, the area that I really focus on the most, like where I put the most primer, where I put the most foundation, is more towards the end of the um the end of the the eyelid, just because that's where like most of the like the blending and where you're you're you're, you're gonna see mostly like in photos like that I try to blend the most there your story is very interesting you're a really brave person to 
come out to your family gay. Anyone's brave to do that. Yeah. Um, and you're also brave to have a failed business, but to pick back up and to continue to try something new. But yeah, I honestly feel like because I had that happen to me, like when I moved to LA, okay, okay, I already had like a, like I filed bankruptcy when I was 21. So, and I mean, I never thought like, when I, when I was in Arizona, I was charging like 50 to $75 per, Per face and I thought oh my god I was killing it I was right. like I was like I'm making so much money I was doing like seven people a day <laughs> eight eight people a day I feel like when I moved here I had no idea that like you I could even have this as my career I just loved it so much so um, it's just really cool that like the how like social media and everything has like like the opportunity and like a chance to a chance to like show their work and and to meet people like you. Aww, so sweet. So now I am using Butt Naked. Your Sorry. eyeshadows, they blend. So this is actually my first time using them and, and um, because she's never sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they blend so well. People really need to go through, I think I think the most successful people in life, I'm not saying that I'm like successful, but like, You're super no. successful. But I feel like if you are able to like, go through something that and make has, it out alive. Yeah, and it just, it, you make it out stronger and- Most uh, really, really successful people, if you pick at them, you will find the craziest story behind their success. It's never like, oh yeah, I tried this one thing and it just really worked out for me. You know what I mean? It's trial and fail failure and it's the people that got back up and kept going. Yeah, it just like humbleizes you and you, um, you just learn so much from it, so. Um, I am so thankful to my parents, who my parents were the ones who, they were living in San Diego, I was living in Arizona, and they were the ones who, like, forefronted rented, like, the money for me to, like, have this salon, so. Wow. So, like, I'm so grateful to them, like, if they didn't give me the opportunity to do this, like, I don't think that I would be, like, where I am today, because they, they basically gave me my, my, like, career and my, like. That's so amazing. So you just have one older sister. Yeah, I have one other sister. She lives in Portland. She's a special ed teacher. Um, oh my god! Yeah, but now all of a sudden, she's into she's into makeup. She oh, to, I wonder why. She used to never be into makeup. She, like like for her wedding day. Oh, I, you made I her did, face. I I did her makeup. She's like, no, too much, too much, too much, too much. What? Like, takes it off. Like male. I know. Like how rude. <laughs> oh my god! But now she's into it. Like she's like, hey, are you gonna send me your collection? I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. You're like, go by. <laughs> okay, so. If you have the junkies of junk food, like your worst food snack to binge on, what would you say it is? Um, sour patch kids. I mean, and <sighs> I, I and it's really like my niece. I, I binge every day, so. <laughs> they make your mouth roll. They really do. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with boba. Really? Like in high school, I was super overweight. In Arizona, I was like super how skinny. How tall were you in high school? I don't know, actually. You're, how tall are you now? I'm like six three, six four. I know people always say, oh my god, you're so much taller in person than... Do you like being tall? Oh yeah, I love it. I was about to say, you know that I would take your legs off of your body and <laughs> plant them on me if I could. What's it like to look at the top of people's head all day? <laughs> I feel like I'm like always around all these fucking supermodels and everything and oh, they're so true, tall. Oh, that's true, that's true. They're your height. So now I'm going to take... I know that this is basically like the same color as the eyeshadow. I, the reason why I came out with a, a eyeshadow brush for this collection is because even though I don't, I don't have eyeshadow, is that mm -hmm. I love putting my blushes into um, the crease so, mm -hmm. so it ties everything together so putting a little bit so this is my favorite color this is she's seductive and this is like once the blush goes on it's really gonna marry everything together and i also got i got you picked this up in korea didn't you yeah so pretty yeah so i got i, I got this palette from korea and i'm obsessed when with i was it. in japan they had little things like that i went into one of the stores and i just went crazy and just bought all of it it's, not, it's really small but it's like honestly really expensive it's i think it was, shut up it was like 55, 60 dollars. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel it. It's like so soft. Yeah, it's so soft. So like with shadows in, in Asia, like they're not as pigmented because um, Asians don't really love mm -hmm. like too much, too much eyeshadow. It's Glow. like a little wash of color. Yeah, so I'm using this color. There's no name on it, but just right on the lid. And I really love this because if you put it like under some like light, it's like the lightest dust and it just like gives you like your eye like a little twinkle. So I, I've been, um, I just did Jingle Ball and it looks so pretty on like the big screen because when like the light hits it, it's like not really like so the color, the color it doesn't really cover what's the word like opacity or o o o like it's opaque, not, not too opaque. Yeah, it's it's not too opaque. So it just like it just gives you like a little light dust of like finely milled pearls. I'm gonna take this this off. 
And then I'm just gonna take a little um, wipe. I go along the the bottom waterline and I just glide and I wanna like just work my way towards the end just to like do a little extra one-time clean and then do the same thing to the other. Do like a one-time pull and... And then I'll just take... Guys, um, right, you're getting all the tips and tricks today. Yeah. <laughs> and when I sat down before, um, I was asking her because like, this is how I feel. It's like so fun creating product and like you're, you're, you're getting out like the colors and like everyone you're, everyone on your team is like oh my god that's so amazing that's so amazing and then like when it comes time to like launch i, I get so much it anxiety is and Part so much me's pressure like, just like turn everything off i don't want to read anything i'm freaking out just... because like you work on this for so long and like people there's so people like people have in which like everyone has their own right in their opinion like but totally. everyone has like so much to say but you're and, one like, person and you have to like digest all of that information and you know all these different opinions and it's honestly kind of hard on one human being yeah it really is when i first moved here i my, my, my makeup was pretty heavy okay and because like just coming from mac and coming oh, from, yeah. coming 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 from from arizona you train to like put on so much makeup and right yeah no, um, totally. and that's which is beautiful yeah no, okay but i thought the only thing beautiful was heavy makeup okay like, got like, you i remember my first incident where i was booked to do joan smalls i was like oh my god she's like a supermodel she probably like likes her makeup super natural like my kit's like really heavy so <laughs> I, need, I, I need to go go out and buy new foundation new new products because they're like show her like my most natural makeup ever um so because like, i really wanted to do a good job so i went out and bought new makeup and then i get to her that day and i think okay it looks so great like i think she's gonna love it and then she looks at herself she's like oh my god there's like she starts like wiping off her face because there's just too much on but she did she did she, she, no. said, she said it so nicely but i was like deep down inside i was like you wanted to die i wanted to die i was so sad but in but also in my head i was like Wait, that's the most natural makeup I've, I've ever done in my life. Like, like what a I know, I was like, holy shit. But like, but that's when I learned, and like, I had that aha moment. Like, everyone's version of natural is so, so different. different. That's why it? I always had to ask for photos. But because of that incident, and I'm so grateful for it, learned. I learned, and my makeup style changed. And like, I think that's what kind of. Isn't life amazing that you don't learn anything on your best days? You learn everything on, through your accidents, your that's worst so, days. That's so true. But. Yeah, and the one thing that I would like, I, if you are a makeup artist and you're an aspiring makeup artist, this is the one thing that I think that I did wrong. I was so, I mean, it's it's good to be hungry and it's so good to like want to do everything. But when I first moved here, I like wanted to touch everyone's face. I want like, like, I'm like, I'm so ready. I'm so good. Like, I want to do everybody. But advice I wish someone gave me is like, and I mean, I, I think people do give, give this advice all the time, but like you don't believe it when you're actually living it because you just want to make it. Take your time because you have, like if you are a makeup artist and, that, and that's what you want to do, you have one chance to impress these celebrities. Like if you get to do them before you are ready to do them and so you don't sense. do a good job or you don't do as good of a job as they yeah. everything yeah. That you might need to learn yeah they're not they're, they're not they're not going to use you again so there's so many makeup artists out there so they have the opportunity to use so many other people but they have if they have that one memory of like oh he's not good like they're not going to try you again maybe they will if like they really like you like in your personality but like more often than not they're not going to use you again so um that's such good advice. Yeah, so just don't rush it and and enjoy the ride. Yeah, enjoy the ride. Like there, you have so much time. So you feel like the sponge gives like that soft airbrush finish. The sponge? Mm -hmm. It does. It's it so does. It's so soft. You should have bought like twenty this, of them. This, I but know, you didn't so, know. You didn't know. I didn't know. I because like it's it comes it comes this small. Oh my god! It, and it's called Biddy, so it's like so cute. So you were like, let me just see. Yeah. So I was just in Mykonos and and my and my makeup kit got um, stolen. No, no, not stolen. Um, I I thought I I felt like it was stolen because it was stolen for three. It was lost for three days. Yeah, and I was working. So um, thank God Gigi brought. Um, her own makeup it's like so unprofessional but uh <laughs> i found this brush because of it and so thank god i did so this is a sephora brush that they don't sell alone you have to buy a whole kit and if you want this one so but it's totally worth it it's for like contour i'm gonna start off by contouring her face first because i like to contour before i like to put on concealer i am using huda beauty's um tm tour in in the color fair he loves it um i Clearly. love it um i, really I love, love it. these too they blend out like and, so easy and they stay but um i feel like they I, do run a little so deep so if you are like gonna shop online for this like runs a little deep yeah it runs a little deep so i like to stamp as i go i don't like to um like draw a line and like kind of have to blend it out but 
I'm gonna. That's interesting. I'm gonna try out all your methods. I'm gonna take the beauty blender. I mean, or not the beauty. Blender, um, this thing. Stamp it just right in. I like. I like to blend as I go. Yeah. I'm a very sarcastic person. Me so, too. So I mean, I'm. I'm with like my sister Olivia like basically every single day, and we just like. We think like we're the only like we think we're so funny and we're yeah, just we're the like, funniest people in the world to we're, each other. We're we're saying like just like six scenarios that could happen and we just keep going off these scenarios. Okay, like, you are the same person as me. You don't understand. <laughs> I will take a story and take it to the dumbest <laughs> level that you could take it to where we're like in outer space or something. You watch like comedy? What, what am I watching right now? I'm honestly I just started Quantico. It's not a, 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 like a comedy. It's action. Yeah, it's more of like a drama action. Yeah, like a badass like that show. girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's hilarious. I don't think um, what's that one? Death Brothers. Like, that's I will not. Hurt that's you. not. Don't say that. I don't think it's funny. It's I'm funny. like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is um, I take, I'm taking a little bit more foundation. This is the A Cosmetics brush, and the brush is um, I just went underneath the contour just to kind of like, whoop, whoop, like go back in there. Oh my god, this pimple is like giving me. Okay, what about my what about my boulder on my face? Well, your face is covered in foundation. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take um, a little bit more foundation, and I'm just using. So this is my body brush that. I honestly is like the best thing for like the decollete and the neck because who wants to use a small foundation brush for your neck? It's this like, is so smart. You need like a quick like So one, you're two. just doing like a quick wipe of foundation across. Yeah. Just like if you ever um if you ever put too light or too dark a foundation, just bring it down here. Girl, no. bring it down to your elbow. <laughs> bring it down, bring it down. <laughs> down to your toenails. No one will ever know. Just paint your body. This is so fun. I'm playing in this kit like it's my home. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of stuff. um concealer. And I'm just using, this is a Anastasia brush, this is A4. Girl, cover the bag. Just because I feel like it didn't. Okay, no. <laughs> you are now. I'm going to bring down a little bit uh, the bridge of the nose. And then on the chin, I like to bring up the chin a little bit. The peak of the forehead. How many faces do you think you've done in a lifetime? <clears throat> and this counts as people you've done twice. It's got to be in the thousands, maybe. I don't know. I think so. De de definitely the hundreds. I remember I used to do like seven, eight people a day. And then your number is way higher than the hundreds. I'm talking about that's from true. like back yeah, days. That I'm is, talking it, back it days is, to it now. It is more than the hundreds and this is in thousands. What I did is before blending it out with a blender, I like to like use this like little brush and kind of like basically place where I want the product to sit and I'll let it sit here for maybe like a few minutes before I like press it in because I really want like the I, I want the under eye to like stay there so I want the the concealer to like stick so that they kind of dry up a little bit. And I'm gonna go in and just like set the under eye. Her face is like so literally you take three like three pats. It is. Three, I like, don't you three pats and like you're done. <laughs> Smallest head ever. I don't know. And my neck is so long, so it's like a little pin on I look top like of it. I like a monster next to you. <laughs> You're tall. Manny looks like a monster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's gonna come for me in the comment section. So so many so many of my clients are always like texting while I'm gleaning. So I'm like, please look up. Like 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 happens the most is like when 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 I say look up and they're like this like they like, they raise their eyes. I'm like that's not looking up. No. I didn't, like, like, look at me. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna use two things. So I'm gonna mix some powders together. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Givenchy together. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Laura Mercier together. This is literally a concoction. I love this. And a little bit of La Mer together. Oh my God, it's like a specialty product. So I just wanna make sure that the under eye is nice and- Creaseless. Creaseless, set in place. For the baking, I like to take a little bit onto like the back of my palm and i don't like it when you put like the powder straight to it but i put it onto the sponge i pat it just so it soaks in a little bit and then look up for me and then kind of press it into the skin guys if you um you yeah, should definitely watch harusha's little video too that she did like with her like contour and not that contour her her under eye the thing that i do with my skin that people think that is so weird oh my god what so in the shower, I'll take a, like a credit card or like some sort I'm of done. like hotel card. I'm already done. It honestly takes out like your blackheads in oh, your- Okay, I can see and your skin's warm and moist, so it's yeah. like- Yeah, so it opens your pores. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of contour now. So I'm using um, Hula bronzer. I'm just gonna go in the little light padding motion. This was this is honestly, I feel like my like go-to look. I, I'm obsessed with like 
obsessed with like that monochromatic bronzy. So now I put on all the powder. I like to take my blender again and kind of just like press it all in. Everything just like marries well together. I just came out with um, four velvet blushes. So this is She's Adorable. adorable. So this, this is, is a like really nice like corally. It has, it has a little shimmer in it. So pretty. She's Sincere. This is like one of my favorites. It's like a really nice like bronzy um, color. It's, it's, our, it's our lightest shade. She's Passionate. Yeah, this is a really nice like um, pinky shade. This is this is one of my favorites. This is She's Seductive. Ooh. Uh, oh, she hasn't even used that one. So <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Wow. Call me out. <laughs> I was like reading some comments about how like, they, 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 people say that that it's not pigmented, but I swear to God, it is so pigmented that you just have to we we press the pigment into the pan like super hard because um, the pan is like it's like it's like pretty flat, so like you want it to not break the pan because like the like the pan is bigger than like a normal like blush, so, like you like you have to press chip, like press it Adam really X. yeah. But Get it going. yeah, so like just really like saturate the brush with with the product But I think that it's better to apply blush like Less than add more than like have have a blush that's like way too pigmented. Yeah, and and then you have to um, Take it back. Right. So I'm using so this is in the shade She's seductive and I also have a blush brush that we came out with and you can see how it kind of matches like her eye color So we're just like gonna make the reason why I'm choosing this color is because I really want everything to be monochromatic and was applying that right into the apples of the cheeks. Is, is, is that pretty is that color? It? Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Why haven't I been wearing it? You know, I'm like a sucker for like a peachy color. She's shady. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think this color really intimidates people because... Yeah, it's, it's deep, honestly, yeah, it's deeper actually, in the pan, but it doesn't come off that deep. Yeah, it's actually our, our, our best seller. What I like to do is I, I, I like to put on the blush and I, I like to take the beauty blender or not to blend, just a blender and um, press it into the skin. This is a little, like a little bit damp, just so it melts the product into the skin. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of this blush color, a little bit more into the crease now that the foundation is on. Sorry, we're getting real close. Girl, we getting close up on her. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of more powder just right underneath. So I usually use NW20, I lost that, so I'm gonna use NW20. <laughs> I'm gonna, I have NW15 too, but I'm gonna mix the two. But I usually use NW20, but I'll put this just right underneath to like give it a little, a little more bright. So I'm gonna use um, Butt Naked just right underneath the eye. Well, they're still pigmented. I paid him to say that. <laughs> it's too pigmented. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in LA on a day off, though, what would you do for fun? Like, would you do nothing? I would go to my house okay. and look at my garden. <laughs> okay, so I would, I, I would go because like I would go to my house and I like I'm I just got these olive trees for my house and mm. I'm obsessed with them. One of my clients' dad, she. He he got me like a really good price on these olive trees where I paid like way less than like way less than half. Oh my god! So I got like full size olive trees, Already grown, like grown. forty five years old. My house, I look really rich on, on the outside, but I'm not. <laughs> I have a snake plant growing over there. I'm really proud of it because Tart mailed it to me in like a pair box and it was like all busted and it was like one little twig. And look at it, I made her. She's growing. Wow, she's two inches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Have you ever broken a bone? Mm -mm. Never? Mm -mm. Me either. I've chopped this finger off. You can see how it's like kind of like ruined. Like I was at the gym, which I, I, I never go. I noticed this. So like this whole entire front piece. What? You can see the bone. No! Yeah, and they did a stitch it on. Like I was. It like, looks amazing. I was at the gym and I like I was doing like dumbbell bench press. So this had to have happened not when you were little. So this happened like four years ago. Oh my god! I was at Twenty Four Hour Fitness thinking that I should like lift some heavy weights. I put it down and I had a no. dumbbell. I had the other weight down there. Okay. And my finger got like stuck in between because they were so heavy. I like, I, I like squished it down and like. I looked up, like, I didn't even feel it, but I looked up and my finger was off. I was like, started screaming. Stop! Stop! Like, the ambulance comes and they, they like, they, 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 they take me in and screaming inside, like, the truck. How much the pain truck. were you in after? Like, once you're in the truck, like... I was in, in pain. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, pain's like, save settlement. my finger, save my finger, like, put it on ice or something. It was, like, hanging. Bitch! <laughs> God. I know I was freaking out. The one thing that I learned so about, about this is don't call an ambulance if your finger no. falls out because I'm like turn on the sirens, turn on the sirens. They take like, forever, didn't they? No, they they no. They said, sir, you're not um, dying. We cannot turn on the sirens. Like they just picked me up and like it was like an Uber. Like a <laughs>
I do that. Then I get into like the ambulance, like I get into like the ER and I'm like freaking, I'm like, someone needs to see me right now. And, they did not make you wait. And they made me wait like an hour. And, and then finally someone sees, like so, someone sees me and they're like, are you the one that's that's like screaming over like a broken finger? I'm like, this is not like my finger is off. And they're like, oh my god. And they they, they and thought your finger was broken. Broken. Girl, your finger was hanging. Yeah, <laughs> freaking out. I need to know what hospital you is. <laughs> you see how it's like flat and this is round? Right. The one thing that I love, the one thing that I love to do, which I learned in Korea, is like the mini heart. It's like, it's so cute. Oh, I see it. And um my finger is messed like <laughs> Stop. Ugly. You have a pretty traumatizing story. <laughs> and that's why I don't work out. <laughs> yeah, don't work out. Literally, I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure that your, your eyelashes are pretty... The, I mean, the glue is, like, tacky. So what I do now is I put on a really, like, a big lash, and then, like, just wherever I need, like, a little bit more length than little twinkliness, I put on some individual. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, before I finish, like, the glow and everything, I'm just going to cut underneath the little reverse highlighting. So I'm gonna do the brows now and then um, finish off the glow and the lip. This is actually a product that I'm, I'm, I'm testing right now. This is a little wax and I'm just gonna let it like, let, like dry. And... Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry to get a little tacky and then dust this off. I like to go upside down. Upside down, I like to start from the center. And I'm using the brown Glossier. I'm really gonna draw on each hair. Not everyone likes this look, but I'm into it. Give me something. My brows look so much fuller because you put that gel on there. And then I'll... Oh, that looks so pretty. Comb it out so it doesn't look so like drawn on. You have to have a really, really light hand if you're using this product because it's so dark. This, this is like a brown, but it like it goes on really dark. And then the rest I'm gonna color in with um, look a little how pretty. shadow. Yeah, don't let them do too close. <laughs> Sometimes when you do this, they look like caterpillars, but... No, I love them. And then now for my highlight. So I also have I have three um, highlighting mists. Um, so we have Look At Her, We Need Her, and um, We Love Her. So I'm going to use the my favorite. So this is the Iridescent Pro. It's like the white pearl. Shake the bottle and just make sure. So I'm going to take the fan and just cover it in the eyes and just spray... Um, put a little bit just right on top of the brow bone as well. I always like to take um, the beauty blender and just like press it in a little bit just so it looks like like skin, so it looks like, oh, like so a super pretty. natural glow. Press it into the skin a little bit. Take a little bit onto a little brush and just put it down the bridge of the nose. Oh my god, so much. <laughs> <laughs> I like love setting spray. Me too. Body oil on you as well. Yeah. I'm gonna use a vision, my major glow body oil. Should I turn this way a little bit? Yeah. So Spray this just like right directly onto the skin. Blend it into the skin. It just really gives your, your skin like a really beautiful, nice glow. It looks so pretty. This is brand new. This is, I have, I also came out with four new um, lip crayons. These are a clicky pen. So I'm gonna go in with She's Proud to so Smile with Your Mouth Closed. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm using a color that is like in like the same family tone as the blush. They almost feel like a lipstick, you know what I mean? Yeah. The reason why it's a little bit thicker too is because I hate when you have to like do all like the extra blending. Mm-hmm. So when you just put this on like the Fills width. in a little more space. Yeah, so you can like have that really like diffused. Um, the way you don't have that sharp. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually just fill in the whole entire lips with smile with my face, yeah. Like I honestly like, I love this color by itself too. And you can put like on a gloss on top, but. I feel like lipsticks, you could totally just fill in your whole lip. So I just came out with four lip creams. Um, they're These all in so like the, they're all in like the nude family. Uh, so this is the lightest shade. This is she's unapologetic. She's secure, which is like a nice coral. She's independent, which is like a brownie pink. And then she's confident, which is like a mobby brick. I want to use she's independent. Ooh. I'm gonna put this like right on. So it looks really shiny on, but it's actually like super. It dries down to like a velvet matte. And then I, I, I always like to put on a little bit onto like the back of my palm. Just so it gives some dimension. And I like to apply it like basically with my fingers like that. And then I'm going to blend it out. Gorge. I love I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a, a tiny bit more blush. Just a little bit more just right onto the apples of the cheeks. Done. Oh my god. I love it. 
Do you like it? I'm obsessed. Are I you like it looks right there. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here watching. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for having me. Oh my god. I'm Sorry it took so long. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It was worth it. My brows have never looked better in my life, I don't believe. Like, I actually have brows. This is what I look like with brows, people. <laughs> so thank you so much. He is amazing. Check out his makeup. I'll have everything linked down below, of course. Um, can we hang out more, please? <laughs> um, absolutely. He's going to treat me to some good food, and then we're going to go visit his olive trees. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.